So this is Paul, Ura. So part three on getting your military records, right? When you go inside va.gov and you're passed beyond um, the intent to file, then the next thing you're going to see is information needed, right? And that's where you're going to find a link to request right here. Let me get my arm out the way right here. Your um, your military record online. You can do that. For those who are uh, technologically savvy, you can request your military records via online. And that also goes for those who had to call the 1-800-827-1000 number. Okay? And right below that, remember I said a couple of videos ago that you'll be able to, if you, they cannot find your record, you can reconstruct your record. Well, just below that, this link right here, I'll put it in the uh, description in YouTube that you can click that link and you can start reconstructing your military record if they cannot find it. Notice we're spending, we got three times that I've spoken about your military record. Everything revolves around that. So you need to start finding out what's there. Now, let me throw this in there also. I have TMJ. TMJ is when basically you're grinding your teeth at night. And these muscles get out of whack right here when you have TMJ. So also request your dental records because if you've been diagnosed with something about your mouth, you can also you can also claim that too. Most people tend to forget that. Only thinking about your medical records. But get your dental records too. And I think I got 30% for TMJ. I think I got 30 or 20%, something like that. Um so just know that you need to get your medical record and your dental record, dental record, and you can also reconstruct your records. And my next video will be about your buddy statement. Before I go, let me add a couple of things. You, you're doing yourself a disjustice if you're not going to va.gov and setting up your e-benefits account, which helps you to set up my healthy vet account. All this information I'm giving you is actually there. As I'm just making a shortcut for some of you old guys who have a fear of getting your claim done. So uh, make sure you are going into uh, va.gov to e-benefits to My Healthy Vet. You're going to find your VA records at My Healthy Vet. The records prior to going to the VA you're going to have to go to the National Archives, and that's where you fill out the SF-180 uh, to get your records. So that's what you have to understand. There's two parts to this. There's before the VA, and then there's after you start dealing with the VA. There's two sets of records. There's medical records from your military time on active duty, and then there's your records where you've been seen at the VA. Uh, I recommend you get those records also um, so you can take a look at what you had done compared to what you did on active duty or at the end of your active duty career. You need to understand this. Just because you go to the VA, that does not mean they're automatically going to submit a claim for you. So everything's up to you. You might have been serviced for the, your, what you, in your head, you're thinking service connected injuries and you, you probably were serviced there for it. But the idea that they completed a claim for you, it's not there. So make sure you go to uh, va.gov, uh, then log into eBenefits. It's not hard to do it. If you can't figure it out, get your grandchildren to help you. Uh, then the next step is to locate your records, and that would be via the SF-180 to get your archive records of your, middle, your active duty medical records. And then you also have your VA records. Uh, I was just, what I did was I started submitting a claim just to see what it looks like. And uh, I hadn't did it in a while, but there's a couple of places you're gonna have to go from one place to another. But if you take your time, you can get all this information and you'll be on your way to submitting a simple VA claim. Peace.